Quasar e Motorsports. All right, guys, now we're going to test what this machine really can do. I'm not pushing it too hard, but we're going to try a 2,000 chip load at 18,000 RPM and do some adaptive clearing, some nice contouring, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's hope, uh, hope this goes well. This bit's not exactly super sharp. Well, as you can see, I made a big mistake and I, uh, set my Z height without realizing that I had a nine millimeter compensation in the probing menu. I did it manually and didn't compensate for the nine millimeters. <clears throat> so uh, we went way deeper than we were supposed to, but here's the crazy thing. I mean, yes, that's not perfect, but that is a seriously deep cut. And we didn't get any real deflection and it cut right through it and it didn't sound terrible. Um, this is adaptive clearing. That's why you're seeing those shapes um it's not going to be super smooth but i cannot believe that i didn't have an issue there uh, i went into my uh, holder a bit there um so we're going to reset the z and try again all right so we reset the z i just took the office offset off and i uh re-zeroed out on there i basically dropped the tool down very slowly until i saw it scratch and i set that as z um, hopefully that fixed it and we don't eat through uh, things we're not supposed to this time. So we're going to go ahead and go on the Masso, click rewind, go to cycle start. I don't have the vacuum attachment on here because I want to see how that works. Oh yeah, now we're perfect. want to be able to see the bit do its work. So I'm, make, I'm making a mess for you guys. Gonna be a contour right here. Pretty deep one. Oh yeah, we're throwing some heavy chips. That's a 10 millimeter depth of cut there. and raise the 
spindle RPM just a tiny bit. Take it up to 22,000. Let me get the air. Oh fuck, I hit the e-stop like an idiot. All right, so while I was trying to get the air, I hit the e-stop on accident. Um, yep, so we're gonna have to restart. Cool thing about the Masso is that we can just jump to line 271 or 2071 and uh, get right back into it, but in, while it's humming, let's go ahead and have a look. So that's an adaptive rough. Um, that was a uh, 3.5 millimeter step over. Um, I really wanted to push it and see what it would do, but I mean, it's looking, it's looking good. I mean, for adaptive clearing, it's not going to be a fine finish. So for removing mass material, um, that's working real good. Uh, the uh, the carbide, that's just a cheap uh, SP carbide from Amazon, nothing special. It's holding up. Um, it's still sharp. Let me see. There we go. It's still sharp and looking beautiful. So we're going to see what, uh, what happens here. We're going to let this finish out. Once we get past this point, it's going to do some serious adaptive clearing, which is going to be deep and and probably a half inch of flute length is going to be pretty heavy. So let's see how that goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and restart here on the Masso. So we can go to work origin 2071. We'll go to jump the line. We'll start from line and then click run. And it should, uh, it should do its thing. All right, let's push cycle start. Hopefully that starts up. Should turn on any second now. Come on, turn on! Here we go. All right, it worked. We're gonna do a contour operation. That went way better than I thought it would. I thought I might have broken a bit, but nope. We are slinging chips. There we go. Now this is where we get our finishes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this the water down just a tad bit. I've only got it on a uh, a little uh, a little air pump. Well, it's actually a big air pump, but it's not high pressure. It does help, but it's not ideal. You can see that's looking a lot better, and that bit's probably kind of dull. I've done a lot of testing with this bit, so um, I'm surprised it cuts this clean already. But I think we'll have a pretty decent finish. That's a two millimeter step down right there. I mean, two millimeter step down, this thing cuts like butter. It's hardly making any noise at all cutting like that. All right, here we go. And that's all the adaptive that we're gonna do. The rest is just clean up. So we'll see how the finish comes out after murdering that bit. I mean, the aluminum's not even warm. So the cooling's been working. We really made a mess though. I normally have this up in the vacuum, but I wanted to make it to where everybody could see it. A 
We'll measure final dimensions too and see if my probing was accurate. <laughs> go this is a finishing pass nice little ramp I think that's a five degree ramp in and a two millimeter step down again the end all right let's have a look it's not absolutely perfect there's an imperfection right there I'm not sure what from probably from the restart um, the finish looks cool it's nice and smooth I didn't do any facing this inside pocket is nice and smooth there's a tiniest bit of chatter right here so I probably back off on that um, unless I've got a, a sharp bit this bit is uh, it, it's been it's been used a lot so we'll see how well this goes um, moving forward with that bit I don't know if I will unless it's a roughing operation but uh, the cut in the uh, side of this aluminum the original cut wasn't perfect so we got a little bit of missing there but that contour looks pretty nice um, yeah, all in all, I think uh, I'm right there at the limits of this machine, which was more than I expected. After all these mods, um, I'd say that that absolutely upped the rigidity. I can definitely not see a stock Queen Ant Pro V2 being able to do what we just did here. And that was with a, a well dulled bit. I went through a ton of wood, a ton of other things, a ton of aluminum with that bit. I mean, it's, it's, I, I abused the hell out of it learning. Um, and I wanted to see how far I could go with a bit that's been abused and it clearly does not have a perfect edge down here. Um, right at the bottom of that tip right there, I've got, it does not a chip, but it's, it's flattening out. It's like a dulled section. Um, you know, the side of the flutes were, were fairly, uh, sharp over here, but they're definitely doling from, from here down. Um, prior to me doing this operation, I'd expect even with this bit's about 12 bucks for a quarter inch single single flute SP off Amazon. You buy a five pack, they're about 12 bucks a piece. So for 12 bucks, I'm honestly happy with it. If I threw an Amana in here, I'm sure this would last a whole lot longer and we get better results. But uh, for a $12 bit, I think that's well worth it. And I guarantee if this bit was sharp, this would be even better. So yeah. I hope you guys are uh, happy with what I got to share here and you liked what I did. And um, I'm going to clean up all this mess. And the next time I do this, it's going in the vacuum hose. <laughs>